The people in Madiba's hometown of Tunu continue to pray for him to get well as he remains in a critical condition in a Pretoria hospital. Many in the small Eastern Cape village where the former president spent some of the happiest days of his childhood have met him and share some of their personal memories with EWN. When I went to the family house and then had lunch with Madiba and met Madiba, Madiba was still the Madiba, you know, I know, full of love, life, you know, and so on. The manner in which he greeted his wife. Hello, my love. How are you, my darling? That's what he said to his wife. Just like, yo, this man is my father, my everything, you know? It's just like, I, because I didn't have a hug from my father, but the minute that Mandela shook my hand, this, yeah, this is what I wanted. The first time I met uh, Madiba was uh, in 1990, two weeks after his release. I went to see him in Orlando and uh, from there onwards uh, we became uh, close, uh, very very close in terms of uh, looking at uh, the possibility of uh, building his own home in Transkei. He even uh, uh, mentions this in his uh, book to say Bandu did uh, influence me to come and build my home in Kuno. On Sunday, Mandla Mandela, the chief of Mvezo and Nelson Mandela's grandson, attended a prayer meeting focused on Madiba's health and recovery. Mandla has been in the news lately due to a Mandela family dispute, which has ended up in the Mtata High Court. Sixteen members of the Mandela family brought an urgent application against Mandla last week. It is believed the application involved the remains of three of Madiba's children whom Mandla moved from a burial site in Kunu to Mvezo without asking permission from the rest of the family. In a recent statement, Mandla said he is compelled to go to court to defend himself. In the meantime, ordinary citizens continue to send their prayers and scheduled mass prayer meetings take place countrywide, showing the unanimous support and love for the global icon. Rene de Villiers, Eyewitness News, Kunu. Eyewitness News, in touch, in tune, and independent. For the latest, log on to ewn.co.za or ewn.mobi.